Hey, thanks for watching this video. There's more at Embark Online. You can tweet me, and there is the pie guy. All right, this is fourth grade, module seven, lesson eight. And in this lesson, students are gonna continue solving problems involving mixed measurements, although this time, they're gonna be dealing with weight. So, let's get started. So we have a whole bunch of problems, and they want us to add and subtract. So let's zoom in on problem F, because that's a good one. So we have 21 pounds, 8 ounces, plus 6 pounds, 9 ounces, and we have to add them together. So first, let's add the pounds to the pounds, and that gives us 27 pounds. And then let's add the ounces to the ounces. Addition is always kind of easy, um, easier than subtraction. And that gives us 17 ounces, but then we have to remember, hey, wait a second, 17 ounces, that's one, oops, one pound plus one ounce. So we now have 28 pounds, and then we have just one little ounce left over, 28 pounds, one ounce. So let's take a look at H. So H is a subtraction, and we always have to pay attention to subtraction because we have enough pounds to subtract 16 pounds. That's pretty straightforward. But right now, we do not have enough ounces to subtract 4 ounces. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that 89 pounds, and we're going to separate it. We're going to decompose it to 88 pounds and 16 ounces, because remember, 16 ounces, that's one pound, plus 88 pounds, that gives us 89 pounds. So this whole thing right here, 89 pounds is the same as 88 pounds, 16 ounces, 16 ounces. So now, we're gonna take these 16 ounces and the two ounces and mush them together, so we end up with 88 pounds and 18 ounces. So 88 pounds, 18 ounces is the exact same amount of weight as 89 pounds, two ounces. So we haven't changed the weight, we just changed the way it looks. And now we can subtract 16 pounds, four ounces. Because we now have enough ounces on the left to subtract the four ounces on the right. All right, so let's take a look. 88 pounds minus 16 pounds. Well, that gives us, oh, gee whiz, 272, 72 pounds. All right, now 18 ounces take away 4 ounces. That gives us 14 ounces. So there's our answer, 72 pounds, 14 ounces ounces. And I think that's all we need to do on this. The rest of them are all pretty much the same idea. Um, making sure you add units, the like units, so pounds to pounds, ounces to ounces, etc. So we got a word problem already, number two. So when David took his dog, Rocky, to the vet in December, Rocky weighed 29 pounds, nine ounces. That seems important, so let's underline that. When he took Rocky back to the vet in March. Rocky weighed 34. Ooh, Rocky gained weight. I wonder if it's a puppy and it's growing or if it's just a dog that's getting fat. I don't know. Um, so anyway, how much weight did Rocky gain? So we know that initially Rocky weighed this much and let's call that 29 pounds, nine ounces. But then the dog weighed later, the dog weighed 34 pounds, four ounces. And the question is, how much did it gain? This piece right there. So that's a subtraction problem. We're gonna do 34 pounds, four ounces. And we're gonna subtract 29 pounds nine ounces. And to do that, right now, we have enough pounds to subtract 29, but we don't have enough ounces to subtract nine ounces. So we're going to have to do some regrouping. So we're going to take 
one of those pounds, so now we're going to have 33 pounds, and 16 ounces. And we're going to turn that pound into 16 ounces, because that's the same thing as one pound. So 34 pounds is the same thing as 33 pounds, 16 ounces. So we now have 33 pounds and 20 ounces, and we're going to subtract 29 pounds, 9 ounces. So subtracting pounds, 33 pounds take away 29 pounds, that leaves us with 4 pounds. And then take away the ounces, or subtract the ounces. 20 ounces minus 9 ounces gives us 11 ounces, and that is how much weight Rocky gained. I chose this one because this one's actually a lot of work, man. This is kind of tricky. So Bianca, she had six identical jars of bubble bath, and she put them into a bag that weighs two ounces, and all together, the bag plus the six ounces, I mean six jars, the bag plus the six, six jars is one pound four ounces. How much did each jar weigh? Man, there's just so much to this word problem. So let's start by drawing a picture on this one. So we're going to draw a jar, another jar, another jar, 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 jar. Those are supposed to be six identical jars because it says so right there. Identical jars. And she put them into a bag. So let's, oh, let's choose a bag color. What's a good bag color? Oh, let's do blue. So our blue bag, here is our blue bag. All right, so there's our blue bag. And all together, this whole thing right here weighs one pound, four ounces. Now, but we know that the blue bag is two ounces. So that means if we do a little bit of subtraction, we know that that means these six jars is equal to one pound, two ounces. Now, one pound, two ounces, that's equal to 18 ounces. We have six jars. So 18 ounces divided by six jars gives us three ounces. So each jar is three ounces. And if we added up all those threes, that would give us one pound, two ounces plus the extra two ounces of the bag gives us one pound, four ounces. So how much did each jar weigh? Each jar weighed three ounces. So this one, last slide for this uh, video, it's just more of the same. They've given us a variety of different weights and they're giving us some scenarios and we're supposed to answer the scenario given these weights. For example, it says on Wednesdays, Melissa packs only two notebooks, so two of these, and a binder. Where's her binder? There's her binder. And then how much does her full backpack weigh? So we also have to include this. So what are we going to do? We're going to add the notebook twice. So I'm going to circle it twice. We have to add in the binder and we have to add in the backpack. So we're going to add in four things and we're just going to find the total. Done. That's what we're going to do. So I'm not going to go into a lot of detail on this one. So, uh, well, heck, let's just do a quickie. Two binders, five ounces, plus, I mean, two pounds plus five ounces, two pounds, five ounces. And then uh, two notebooks is, uh, each notebook is 11 ounces, so if we're going to buy two of them, that's going to be 22 ounces. 22 ounces. And then lastly, we have the backpack, which is 2 pounds, 14 ounces. And there we go. So now, we have to add them all together. So, let's see. If I want to add the pounds, 2 pounds plus 2 pounds, so that gives me four pounds. And then the ounces. 
So we've got 5 ounces, 22 ounces, and 14 ounces. So that gives us 41 ounces. 41 ounces. All right. Am, am I right? Let's see. 22, 32, 36, plus 5 is 41. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so now, remember, 16 ounces equals a pound, right? So 16 ounces, 16 ounces, 16 ounces. Uh, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 40. No, no, that's too much. So let's see, 16 ounces plus 16 ounces, that's 32. So we are left with only 9 ounces remaining. So 41 ounces can be broken up into three things. 16 ounces, that's a pound. 16 ounces, that's a pound, plus 9 ounces. So add that up, you should get 41. And we know that this is a pound, this is a pound, to add together to the 4 pounds that we already have. So our answer is 6 pounds, 9 ounces. And that's the work for question A. I'm, I'm going to skip question B and C because they're all basically the same thing. Just using these to find your answers. And that wraps up, let's see, that wraps up fourth grade, module seven, lesson eight, solving problems with mixed units, but this time we're only talking about weight.